Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Cute and Crafty and I am back with four spring and Easter DIYs for you today featuring my solo wood flowers. So you're going to need the solo woods or flower of your choice. I am using the white swan chalk paint and hello hobby, a jumbo glue stick, various ribbons, some of the wood towel letters from Walmart, and one of these Dollar Tree bunny signs. I'm going to use one of these Dollar Tree paper bags and one of the Dollar Tree home signs that I pulled from my stash. So we're just going to get started with getting that sign prepped and ready to go. I'm so excited to be bringing you these four DIYs to Easter and to spring, but all of which, again, are using the beautiful solo wood flowers I have in my stash. I have to get rid of some of them so I can buy some more because they're coming out with more and there's another sale and you guys know how it is. I just have to have them. So I'm cutting apart this paper bag. I decided to go with the teal gingham print and I'm keeping one of the handles to use as the hanger for this sign that I'm currently making. Out of the DIYs, I can already tell you this one is my favorite. So I'm just going to get that paper bag cut open. I thought this was so pretty. It caught my eye. The minute I walked in Dollar Tree and I saw it, I'm like, oh, this is going to be a sign. This is really pretty. Beautiful background paper. It screams spring to me and still Easter. So I'm just going to measure it out and adhere it to this press board sign that I have using my jumbo glue stick. And now that that's all done, I've placed it back in the frame and I can't do anything without a bow or some distressing. So if it's not your thing, move on to something else. Don't do this part. Leave the wood as it is, but I can't help it. I can't help it. Sometimes I do it so much that I'm like, oh my gosh, you're driving yourself crazy. Why? But I love the look. That's, that's the only reason. I just love the look. So I'm distressing the edges of the frame with a little bit of that Hello Hobby chalk paint in the color Swan. Now I cut that that sign apart. I cut it apart because I wanted that bunny. So I cut that bunny out of there using my X-Acto knife and I cut it really rough and then I went back in with my wire cutters and then I trimmed it up as close as I could following the curves and the grooves of the bunny and then I sanded it with my gator sander and I sanded it to where it looks old and distressed around the edges of that bunny. Could not help it. I love how this came out. I love the detail on that bunny. So I'm going in with my wood tile letters and I am spelling out hippity hop. And I'm going in with my beautiful solo wood flowers. And I'm cutting the bottoms off so that they sit more flat. Because they, they sit too high and they're too wobbly with that end on there like that. So I just cut it and make it flat so that they sit better. Thank you to everyone who stopped in to see this video today. I really appreciate you giving me a little bit of your time. It's always wonderful to hear your comments. And I just, I love that you're here. I'm blessed and I'm grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you so much. So I'm just getting hippity hop glued down. This sign was so simple, but it's really pretty. It, it did not take much to make it, as you can see, but it just came out so pretty. And I can't wait to display it in my home for Easter. So you guys know it. I got to make a bow. So I'm just doing the Olivia bow loops. I did two loops on the polka dot and one loop on the teal burlap. And I'm just tying it. I make my, my loops. I go by eye. I don't measure them. I just eyeball it and then I just tie my jute twine around those loops in the middle and I do a double knot and that just gives me a perfect bow every single time and now I'm just fluffing it pulling those loops apart 
and that bow is going to be adhered to the top of this frame. And still just fussing with the bow. You can never fuss with it enough. And here it is. Now I'm gonna go in with that handle that I cut from the bag and some masking tape. And this is a wonderful hack that I learned from Holly over at Hot Humble Pie. Her link will be in the description box below. Anytime I mention a fellow creator, I put their link in the description box so that you can go over and check them out and look at all the beautiful things they're making. On to DIY number two, we're going to be making a Hello Spring sign. And I'm using these um, vinyl letters from Walmart. No, nope, from Target. I got them from the Target Dollar Spot or Bullseye, Bullseye Spot a couple years ago. And I'm using this Areca Palm Wood Plate. I got these from Target. And I'm using two of the wooden butterflies from Dollar Tree, more of my beautiful solo wood flowers. I'll be using some ribbon and some of these little paper butterflies from Dollar Tree. And I have various paints. I've got some folk art in, I can't remember what that is. I have to go look at it. I'm not sure. And then I have the deco arts and fuchsia and pumpkin. And I'm using the Hello Hobby in the color Swan. And I'm going to mix those up to give me as close as I can get to a peachy color that matches the flowers and the vinyl lettering. So distressing it, I'm pulling this all together. It's going to match in the, in the end another piece that I'm going to do. So I'm distressing this piece as well. And we are using the back of this wood textured plate this when i saw this at target i had to have it i picked up the bigger dinner plate which you see that i just distressed and you get eight in a pack for six dollars i picked up the smaller snack plate and you get eight in a pack for five dollars these are textured they are it's palm wood it's called areca or areca i'm not sure a-R-E-C-A. -E I looked it up and it's palm wood. They're very sturdy. I, I, These are awesome to craft with. I'm so glad I stumbled on them. So now I'm taking one of the laser cut Dollar Tree wood butterflies and I'm taking one of those paper Dollar Tree butterflies and I'm painting it with that orange paint that I mixed up and I'm sticking it onto the other butterfly because I want it to look like it's three-dimensional. I want these butterflies to look like they're just flying off of the sign. So I'm taking some of my burlap and lace ribbon and I'm covering the middle of this plate. This plate is beautiful on either side, on the dark wood side, on the light wood side. And I'm going to do another DIY in this video and you'll see me using the lighter wood side. So now I'm going in with my solo wood flowers, just placing them where I want them and getting them glued down. I cannot tell you guys enough how much I love these solo wood flowers. They're just very pretty. Now, this was almost a fail. The vinyl letters and this transfer tape did not play well together. I mean, the transfer tape stuck nicely to the letters to lift them off of the paper and to keep them all together like in a nice straight line. But when I got ready to transfer them to this wood plate, no bueno. It was not good. Um, so I ended up just peeling them off and sticking them down by hand. You'll see. And then I just mod podged them to make sure that they stay. Quick fix. But I was, you know, hoping that once I peeled it off, I can just 
transfer it with my little squeegee or little scraper and peel it up and voila, it would be perfect. Crafting is not always perfect. It is not. Sometimes you have to struggle. And I struggled with these little letters. But I got them down. I just peeled them off one by one, straightened them out. And I knew that I was going to have to Mod Podge them because I felt like they would not stay. I just grabbed this little knife that I had on my table and just started peeling them back. So there it is. And I'm going to Mod Podge them. I'm going to put a beaded hanger on this, and this is going to be done. No bow, you guys. Like, who am I? I didn't make a bow. <laughs> the beaded hanger was enough. It really was. So these are some beads I had in my stash, and I'm just going to make a beaded hanger for this, just stringing them on the jute cord. I started with one pattern that you see me doing here. I didn't like it, so I just changed it. Pulled all the beads off and started over. And this is what I ended up with. And again, I am going to adhere these using the um, masking tape method. It works really good. Once you put that masking tape on that hot glue, it's, it's glued. It's not going anywhere. And there it is. How beautiful is that? I love this one. Now I'm taking those butterflies that I made, those 3D butterflies, and we're going to get those glued down. We can't forget those. This is so pretty. I love this one. I just have to keep saying it. It is not my favorite, though. My favorite is the very first one, but this one is definitely a close second. On to DIY number three, you're going to need some of the wildflowers, a little bit of the lavender, both from Dollar Tree, um, some lamb's ear leaves I got out of my stash, but I usually get them at Walmart, and some more of these beautiful solo wood flowers. Going to need some of the vinyl letters from Dollar Tree, although I ended up using my Sharpie marker and wrote it in my own hand. One of these Dollar Tree signs and some of this Dollar Tree wallpaper. And I have two bunny ears that I cut off of a bunny headband. We are making a bunny. What do I want to call this? Like a bunny with a flowered tiara. That's what we're making today. So now I'm just taking my paper from um, Dollar Tree and I'm just tracing it out around this sign. We're just going to cover it so that we have this farmhouse look to it. And I'm just trimming it up with the scissors and then I will definitely go back in with my gator and make it all nice and crisp and seamless. And now I'm just looking um, for placement. I'm just trying to figure out where I want my letters to end just before the ears. I made a line. I didn't like it, so I erased it. That's why I do everything in pencil first when I'm going to use my own handwriting. And yes, I'm just going to do the long, skinny Ray Dunn font. I'm going to mimic that as best I can. Um, I didn't want the the vinyl letters. They were too big, too bold for this project, and I thought, I'd work with something a little a little thinner. So I'm just writing it in my own hand, writing the best I can. And I'm just writing out the word peeps. This one is simple and it's really cute. And now that I have it written out, I'm just going in with the Sharpie and making everything nice and dark so we can see it. Now I'm going to glue down my ears, just looking to see where I want them to sit.
And now I'm going to start placing my flowers. This is as easy as it gets, you guys. And it, it just really comes out nice. It's a, another beautiful Easter sign that you can either hang or you can sit. You could sit it on one of the Dollar Tree easels in your home somewhere. It's, it's just cute and so easy to do. And now that I've got the flowers all glued down, I realized I wanted a little bit more. I wanted this um, tiara to be over the top, this spring flowered tiara that this little bunny is wearing. I wanted it to be like, bam. So I ended up pulling off some of the wild flowers off of their stems and just sticking them in places where I felt like I could use a little bit more color, a little more bulk, some more flowers. I'm just tucking them in. I'm just using them as filler and it's it's really cute. It's all I can I can say. I keep saying it's just cute. I hope you guys try this. This one's easy. I think all four of them to me are very easy. You guys, if you like this content, and you'd like to see more from me and you've made it to this far in the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it out with your friends, consider subscribing. This is DIY number four and the last one in this video. I'm going to use that other um, vinyl sign that came from the Bullseye Hot Spot. I'm going to use some of the solo wood flowers again. Another one of those palm wood plates. Some boxwood greenery. I might use this um, messy bowl that I have or I might make one of my own. I ended up making one of my own. And a tumbling tower block. I'm not even going to mess with that vinyl or that um, transfer tape because it didn't do what I needed it to do. So I'm just putting these on by hand. And I am going to be using some of the Hello Hobby chalk paint in the color Swan. So I am just placing the word Bloom down onto the palm wood plate. Can't get any simpler than the four DIYs I've shown you today. And they all came out super cute. So we're just going to look for placement of those solo wood flowers. I felt like I had too many on the plate because this one is a smaller plate than the other one. So I'm not going to use all of them. We're just going to use these three. Or at least I start out using these three. You'll see what happens towards the end of this, <laughs> towards the end of this DIY. It, it, I struggle. Okay. We're just going to be real. I struggled with this one and I don't know why, because I said how easy it was, but I'm so picky about how things look that it it wasn't looking the way I wanted it to look. It kind of went left. And so I struggled trying to pull it back. So it's it's cute, but it is not my favorite. So I'm just getting the solo wood flowers glued down and I'm gluing down the boxwood greenery as well. Looking for placement for the other two flowers. This kind of looks good. So I'm going to put them here. And then I have this bow that I made and it's too small. So it was getting lost in the flowers and the greenery. So I added another piece of ribbon and I tied that first bow to this next piece of ribbon and made the bow bigger. So we're just going to glue that on the corner.
I'm just fluffing it out and fussing with it like I always do. And you guys, this is where it went left. Not, not at the Mod Podge, not at the Mod Podge. I should have just left it after I Mod Podged it and put my um, tumbling tower block on the back because this one is a standalone piece. I should have just left it. But no, I couldn't leave it. I had to keep messing with it. And it went left. Yeah. <laughs> so I decided to go in with the Antique Wax by Hello Hobby. And I was just going to distress the ends a little bit, just around the side. But I don't know what happened. I started distressing over the whole thing. And then I didn't like it. I did not like it at all. It just looked like somebody threw mud on it. I was not pleased. So I'm looking at it going, oh my gosh, what did you just do? Can you save it? Well, yeah, it's wood. So I can sand it. So I start sanding it thinking, oh, that's going to lighten it up. I still didn't like it. It it didn't, mm -mm, it didn't make a difference. It still was not what I wanted. The word bloom was getting lost in all of the brown antique wax and <sighs> yeah gotta know when to stop <laughs> less is more this is what I have to tell myself everything does not need to be distressed but I wanted that muddy kind of old weathered look because I love it so now I'm going in with the baby wipe and I'm wiping off a lot of the brown and Okay, I got it cleaned up pretty decent. Leave it alone. No, no, no. I'm going to distress it with the Swan Hello Hobby because that's going to lighten everything up. Well, it blended with the brown and it kind of turned gray. Okay, I can do. I can live with that, kind of, sort of. But then not really. I actually am like, no, I don't like that either. So I just keep messing with it. I keep messing with it until I get it to where I want it. So I added some more of the flowers on. I added some more of the flowers on and I ended up um, putting on the little leaf parts of this vinyl and it brought it back to life somewhat. But again, it's not my favorite. Sometimes less is more. And I think on this piece, I may have done a little bit too much. You guys, honestly, comment down below. My feelings will not be hurt. Here's the final reveal, you guys, of all four pieces. Again, comment down below on that last DIY. Let me know what you think. Um, not my best work. I'm very critical, very hard on myself. But, yeah, I should have stopped way back when on that one. <laughs> oh, but I love DIYing, so it's all good, you guys. It's all good. Again, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing some of your time with me today. I love everything love love you guys so very much um i just can't say enough sweet things about how awesome you guys are you always leave me wonderful comments and i love reading them again i'm going to start a facebook page so that anyone who has crafts that they would like to show but do not have a youtube channel you can put your crafts on my facebook page and it is going to be called I don't know yet. I've got a couple things in mind. I'll let you know. Dollar Tree DIY Divas. That's what it's going to be called. So keep an eye out and I'll keep you posted. I love you guys. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Craft something beautiful today, you guys. Bye.